to Marine Connection. My name is Damien. We're at the water today with our feature boat. It's a 2006 Angler 220 walk around and it's powered by a Mercury Optimax 200 uh, motor, 200 horsepower motor. Uh, our service department has done a mechanical inspection on the motor. It's checked out. We're going to take the boat out for a quick spin, show you how it performs. A total of 86 hours are on the motor. Um, it is equipped with hydraulic steering, stainless steel prop, and uh, runs like a champ, sips fuel. So, uh, As far as the boat goes, we're going to start on the back, work our way forward. Starting at the transom, you'll notice that this boat is equipped with two nice swim platform, aluminum swim platforms with non-skid padding on them on the back of the boat. Uh, the one on the port side is also equipped with a heavy-duty boarding ladder, okay? Uh, which right now we have off of it obviously because we're going to run it but for those of you who like doing some diving and whatnot uh, heavy equipment as far as they, uh, dive tanks uh, they, uh, <laughs> sorry weight belts etc uh, easy access on and off the boat okay um, coming at the center of the boat we have a nice splash well with some vertical rod holders couple of cup holders okay and then on either side on the starboard and port side okay you do have access into the bilge, okay? Your pumps and whatnot, little storage bin, fresh water, shower, raw water wash down, and then another storage bin. Batteries are located under this bin. Uh, it has dual batteries and switch, okay? Boat is equipped with a uh, head system. You have the waste pump out over on the port, uh, starboard side, and we have the water fill for the fresh water system over on the port side. Gunnel mounted rod holders, a couple of cleats in the stern, a couple of midship cleats, and a cleat all the way forward. Two aft jump seats, storage compartment underneath the jump seat on the left here, and then over to the port side, we do have a recirculating live well, okay? Under gunnel rod storage, self bailing cockpit, and then nice fish boxes on both sides of the boat, which do have a macerator. They are plumb, do have a macerator, probably about four feet long and uh, about a foot and a half deep. So you can definitely put some nice sized fish inside your fish boxes. Plenty of room in the cockpit if you like doing some uh, uh, anchor fishing or trolling and whatnot plenty of room in the cockpit okay nice half tower canvas soft top with an electronics box couple of soft spreader lights on the back and a four rod rocket launcher okay but uh, the aluminum and everything is in great shape nice captain chairs with ladder back seats grab handle on either side okay and your armrest and if i come up towards the helm we have our display of rocker switches okay display of gauges and rocker switches we have our nav lights, live well pump, bilge, fish box, uh, etc. Boat is equipped with Lenco trim tabs as well. And then Richie Compass is mounted dead center of the wheel. So if you're doing some uh, long distance headings and whatnot, you want to keep your, uh, your, your uh, heading straight, you have the compass right there. To the right of that, boat is equipped with nice electronics. Garmin, Color, 540S. It's a GPS depth sounder. And then ND electronics box. You've seen the pictures and whatnot. We have our stereo, iPod hookup, and then we have a unit in Solara VHF radio. All those systems are in working order. Easy access all the way up to the bow of the boat on both sides. We have a couple courtesy lights, but easy access. You get your steps. You got a nice little channel, nice high bow rail. Give you some added security if you wanted to get up all the way to the bow and deploy the anchor. Let's take you down into the cabin, and then we'll take the boat out for a quick spin. All right, down below in the cabin. Uh, notice that we have plenty of room all the way around, okay? Uh, boat does not have a, a table down here, but you could mount a base and a table if you wanted to. We'll give you a little uh, seating area if you wanted a picnic. Uh, a couple of porthole windows, and then a center one here, center hatch uh, on the uh, top deck here of the cabin. Uh, we do have our insert here. Notice that they do have the porcelain head. Okay, it does have the holding tank as I mentioned before. You have the overboard or you have the pump out uh, back on the starboard side. And then we have a 12 volt refrigerator and a little uh, kitchen sink with fresh water running to it. Uh, nice uh, gel coat throughout. If you wanted to clean down here, you could. Liner, headliner is in good condition as well. And then you have a little access up towards your anchor compartment from the inside of the cabin but very simple yet uh, very accommodating 
Uh, let's fire the boat up, take it out for a quick spin, show you how she performs. Good to go. That concludes the video presentation on the 2006 Angler 220. I hope you enjoyed it. As you can see, the boat runs great. Uh, motor has plenty of uh, uh, pickup out of the hole. Nice hole shot and a uh, quick boat for a walk around, but uh, yet yeah, you can definitely bring it down and uh, cruise uh, just sipping fuel. So you got the power, but you also have a nice cruising uh, speed, very economical. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but there's a couple wakes out there that I eh, hit pretty hard and uh, boat definitely cuts through the water. Very nice, it's a good haul designed by Angler. So uh, if you have any questions, feel free to write me an email or call me on the phone. My name is Damien from West Palm Beach, Florida, Marine Connection. God bless and have a wonderful day.